last video, I showed you my tomatoes when they were really itsy bitsy and they have grown. This is part two of my tomatoes. These are my tomato plants. This one right here is a white tomato. It hasn't gotten any tomatoes on it yet, so I'm wondering if it ever will, but it's nice, luscious, and green. It's probably the most healthiest of them all. I have a King of the North back here that's getting ready to flower. And over here is a Serrano pepper. And then I have green pepper here. I bought these ones at the store. Um, this one is a, I don't know if you can see this. This one is a vegetable bell pepper. And then I have poblamos. So I've got a couple of poblamos right there growing. And that is their name. And then a jalapeno. My jalapeno. I have full jalapenos. But what I have noticed is when I've taken them off the plant, they are not hot, which I thought was interesting. And then I have, here is a Jersey Devil. I've got one growing there and a few growing here. I've never chased a Jersey Devil before, but I think it might be getting blight. I've noticed that there's some leaves here, so I'm going to have to trim this down in the morning. And then we come down here to this one here. Um, it hasn't grown, hasn't gotten much fruit on it just yet. This one is a Husky Cherry Red. Husky Cherry Red. And then my San Marzano. Uh, you know, this has, it's still bearing some fruit, but um, I'm not sure that I'll get a San, Mar San Marzano um, tomato again. This one kind of it's just, it's not given a lot of fruit, and it had, it started getting blight right away, which is the reason why it kind of looks sickly, so I think it's about the end of its term. And then I have more tomato plants. I've got a really big one growing down here. It's almost ready to go. Um, and this one is a big boy tomato. I have another one over here. Oh, looks like I've got some tomatoes growing over there. Um, there is, this is my cherry red. And I've gotten a little bit of cherries on that. And this one is an interesting plant. It is a see it is a Carmella that one there looks like it's split a little bit but here's some more over here and they look really beautiful it is a Carmella let's see if it'll focus ah, will focus <laughs> oh, there we go Carmelo tomato I haven't tried those tomatoes yet. And then I have this one over here. I've got a lot of tomatoes getting ready to dry ripen. Um, and it might be another of the same type of plant. Then we'll come over here. Oh, car's going by. It'll be loud. These plants here have been the most prolific out of all of the plants. I've plucked so many tomatoes from these two plants and um, the variety that I have for these are the celebrity hybrid tomatoes and I don't know if that has anything to do with it because it's a hybrid the other ones are all heirloom um, but they have really grown well and then I have um, the cherry tomato I see the cherry tomatoes are 
in this one as well, actually. A lot of cherry tomatoes from that one. And then the last plant I have looks like it needs a little trimmed. Um, this is one of my beefsteak tomato plants. And it was doing really, really well in the very beginning. And then all of a sudden it just started wilting and saying, you know, I'm done. I've not grown tomato plants like I have this year. Like in the past, I think a couple years ago, I did two tomato plants and I thought they were kind of fun. But I thought I would try out this time because I wanted to make my own tomato sauces. So um, tomorrow morning, I'm going to trim off some of these leaves and see if I can bring some life back into this one. This one used to be so huge and beautiful, like my white tomato. What'd you think of the video? Stay tuned for three, my part three of this series, The Garden, and how much it has changed. I can't wait to show you how it comes out. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button down there and check the bell so you'll be notified the next time one of my videos comes out. And also, if you wouldn't mind, click the like button if you like this video so that YouTube will let everybody else know that it's a cool video. Anyway, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.